This is everything that we worked for. This is what we drilled for. This is what we trained for. This is why you lift all them weights. Kyle, Big Hitton, Hitton, a.k.a. Chris Hinton, is getting after it, baby. So big news. Uh, Vikings have activated and elevated guard Kyle, Big Hitton, Hinton to the 53-man rooster while placing tight end Kyle Rudolph on injured reserve. Yes, it could be the end of Kyle Rudolph's uh, long, illustrious Vikings career, but whatever. Kyle Hinton is in play. Let's go, baby. So the Vikings may have been scared off because Alexander Hollins got poached uh, by the Browns and maybe teams were sniffing around Kyle Hinton. And uh, it's easy to uh, think about why. Uh, tons of potential, absolute physical freak. Teams are starting to uh, get their 90-man roosters ready for the offseason or teams wanting some depth for a playoff push. So maybe the Vikings were like, eh, we're not going to risk it. Because we don't want to be stuck with a biscuit. So we're going to get Kyle Hinton on the 53. Also, could it happen? I don't know if I'm ready for it. It's a good sign that he'll at least play on Sunday against the low-energy Detroit Lions. Uh, If not, start. Could you imagine Kyle Hinton in place of Dakota Dozier? Better late than never, I guess. Right. So uh, if you've uh, been uninitiated, this is a Kyle Hinton channel, by the way. So background. 6'2", 295. I uh, was a senior coming out of the University of Washburn in Kansas. Okay, if you said Kansas, you win. Uh, he was the 253rd pick in the draft uh, in the back end of the seventh round. It was a three-year starter at left tackle for the Ichabods. Great mascot, by the way. Uh, 33 on the blind side. Senior 2019 was the second team Division II All-American, which you love to see. No combine, no senior bowl, no shrine game, none of that stuff. But was invited to the NFLPA All-Star game and absolutely did himself some big favors. Looked great in the pre-draft process. Pro day, my load. Absolute physical freak. 4'8", 40, 34 reps on the bench as well as the 34 and a half inch vert. And, uh, you know, if you put this on a spider chart uh, against other interior offensive linemen, he, he's looking like an inverse inverted Pac-Man. You, you just, mm, mm. big explosiveness. Uh, jumps uh, are absolutely huge. And he's just a guy that as soon as he gets a little bit of NFL tutelage and NFL uh, practice under his belt is going to be a force in this league. Absolute elite athlete. And also... If you watch some of his college tape, so uh, he has like uh, this bootleg uh, high- highlight tape, which is just ridiculous. But if you're able to find some Washburn tape, it- it's like watching, uh, you-, you know, from the movie The Blind Side, Michael Orr, uh, Briar Crest Academy, just taking on dudes, just destroying. It's about that level. So, yes, D2, big jump to the NFL, as well as a guy who's kicking in from tackle into the inside. I 1,000% a thousand believe, uh, a thousand percent believe in his talent. Yes, yeah, small school stud, has the anchor, has the athleticism, and is absolutely going to get after it. But kicking inside, like we said, huge change. Game is going to happen faster, uh, as well as, you now, this, this ain't, uh, what other schools are there? Chadron State. This ain't, ain't them, right? So you're going to be lining up against dudes. 330-pound, 340-pound defensive interior guys. And you're going to have to throw them around. Well, I don't know. Can you hold up better than Dakota Dozier? I, I guess we'll see. But uh, I think 1,000% he should be in the guard derby next season. Hopefully he gets in week 17 against the Lions so that he gets uh, some good tape on him. A la what happened with Oli Udo and, well, I guess Drew Samia last year. Even though, hey, we were the one of the few people who said the Drew Samia's tape against the Bears week 17 last year wasn't that great. It wasn't ideal. Ole Udo looked a ton better pancaking uh, Khalil Mack, but I digress there. May- maybe uh, Kyle Hinton will have a moment like that. Maybe he'll take Everson Griffin to the woodshed. Woo, could you imagine? Everson comes over on a stunt. Kyle Hinton's like, no. Nope. Uh, but you know, Kubiak and Dennis have also talked that they want to try Kyle Hinton at center. Is this going to be the bloodless coup? Is this going to be storming the Bastille of Bradbury? I hope not. I love I love my guy, but yeah, Kyle Hinton, give these young guys a chance. Get him in there. Play Ole Uda. Play Kyle Hinton. Play everyone of note. Let's go. Let's go. And then rebuild this offensive line. Build a bully. Let's go. Let's get it. Mm. All right, but your thoughts. Kyle Hinton being added to 53. Kyle Rudolph IR. Nah. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Pull some of the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.